Hello friends, this is Chirpesh here and welcome again to my channel Code with Chevy. Uh, this is a part 2 of my ASP.NET Core web, web API series. In this video, we are going to check uh, how to implement the Swagger API documentation. So before moving to that, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel Code with Chevy, then this is the URL. You can subscribe to my channel Code with Chevy. Uh, via this URL. It gives me more motivations and inspiration to create uh, my video. And uh, thank you very much uh, for giving awesome response to my first part. And uh, if you haven't seen the first part, then uh, don't worry about it. I'll put it in the description so you guys can see that part and see how it is very easy to create a sp.net core web API with entity framework and uh, uh, VS code so in this video uh, what we are going to cover like uh, we are going to cover what is the swagger how to implement it and we are going to have a demo for this video so let's directly get started so what I have done is uh, I have uh, like put uh, this thing in the uh, command prompt itself so we don't have to worry about that part let me clear it so, so we'll start from the scratch itself so before uh, moving to that uh, let's see what is the swagger so basically if you don't know like uh, swagger is a open api specification documentation tool from the smart beer and uh, this is a tool where you don't need to worry about the thing apis uh, which are built and it provides you some kind of uh, cool uh, interface to test your apis and get more info about the apis and lot lots of companies are using these tools to document their api it is very easy and very uh, very powerful so basically why you need to uh, have a swagger so there uh, there are a couple of features available by there uh, like basically you need to, you can visualize your apis uh, it provides a great uh, experience and it's also the uh, standardize your api documentation uh, then like uh, there are a couple of other features also so you can check all these features in the swagger.io so now uh, let's see what where we were so let me run .net watch run here here you can see like this is the point where we left in the previous session now we are going to see what we can do with uh, swagger in this particular session so first thing you need to do is uh, basically you need to add uh, a nuget package uh, that is a swash bucken dot dot net core so you can see that you get package here from the nuget org Here is the package that you need to install. So this is uh, this is the command which we need to do. So let's add that in the command prompt. So what I'm going to do is copy and paste this and add it. So basically, it is going to add your uh, nuget package there. Okay. It's done. The so nuget package is added, and now we need to do two more things there. So what we need to do is uh, we need to add uh, this code. I'm going to explain what this is. So basically, it's a it is telling our application that we need to use Swagger, and we need to use the JSON from here 
so uh, basically whatever uh, package like this package uh, we have added it will create that package uh, like it will add that uh, packet to the reference and uh, like it will tell our uh, Sega documentation that we need to pick from this part and there is one more thing which we need to do is this and we need to have this namespace so this is the namespace so it's buckle.sp.net code and saga so let me explain this part also so here it is saying uh, some information about the our application so basically like this is a full sp.net code sp api this is the title and what are the versions you can also create different version document for different things and this is the some of the contact information so this is my name my email and my twitter account and you can also paste the link of uh, some of the uh, your uh, your uh, terms and services so that is also possible so now let's run this and see what happens Save it and it will start. Okay, it started. So let's check that. So this is not this one. Okay, it's working now, and let's see how the our swagger look like. So it is. Uh, you can see like that is the. Yeah, interface there so right now we have only one spec so it is only one spec here you can see the vision file which also you can see here how it is generated and this is the our api thing so like we have values controller and we have student controllers there and right now in student controller we have only one method so it is showing me like how our data is going to be there so once I click on this like it will ask me to execute and if I execute this here you can see which, uh, the data which are coming from the database itself uh, which we have already seen in the first part so like here you can see like it's pretty easy and uh, and this is the whole thing that is matching from here like it is the description of that particular part uh, then have, we have a contact details right now we don't have any terms of services and this is my email address so uh, in this demo you can see like it is very easy to implement the swagger api and uh, you can uh, do like within five minutes and uh, and uh, like you, you you can have this great uh, ui tool to test your apis and you don't need to worry about the other backend parts it will uh, show you the response for visualization and everything there itself you don't need to worry about these all things uh, that way. so I would highly recommend uh, to use this Swagger tool and uh, like it not only ASP.NET but it supports like variety of language. Check out the Swagger.io and here you will have like uh, lots of tools and few other apps are available. So that's it from uh, this video guys uh, and uh, like if you haven't subscribed to my channel then this is my channel. Please do subscribe and if you like this video then please like uh, hit the like button because it gives me more motivation. So thank you very much and see you in the next video.